Okay, I'm continuing, 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 continuing from my last talk because I'm going to talk to you about what people call tin hat or conspiracy theory. And because this is about tinfoil sky, this is where people with tin hats go to fly around with their tin hats. So in my last video, uh, I said, uh, this is a hat, you know, I'm flipping it around, and then I took it out of the picture, and I said to you, in essence, does that hat still exist? That's a very dumb question. Of course it exists, it's right here. But the whole thing is, people who are wearing rose-colored glasses, it's an old term, it means... Um, I'm oblivious to anything other than everything's perfect, rose-colored, it's just perfect. I'm oblivious. Okay, so, you know, the hat is here. So, people who are wearing these things here, they're, as I was saying in the last talk, they're not grounded in reality. They're not seeing what's right in front of your eyes if you take off these rose-colored glasses. Okay, Germany, what has it got? Nothing right now, but I still want to keep coming back to uh Okay, I'm not gonna look at you right now. I'm looking at the camera. Okay, what was I doing? I was not paying attention to you. Okay, what does that mean? Rose-colored glasses, it looks like this, everything's all rosy. We have so many things going on on our plate. And, you know, the primary thing that I keep wanting to help people with is Hang on, I don't even know. Yeah, let's continue. The reason that I'm stopping and starting is because once in a while I can't really move forward. I have to have a moments of peace. A moments of peace. You know, you would say a moment of peace, or I want moments of peace. I want time. Okay, I'm.
Okay, that gives you a chance for your system to bring up whatever it brought up for you. So something might be coming up that's relevant in your life for what I'm going to talk about. Okay, so where are we going to go? We're going to go back to Tin Hats and Tin Foil Sky. It's a hard thing for people these days to understand how things are playing out on the planet. What do you mean? Well, Some people are really all about all of the people who are doing wrong. Some people are all about, I know there's whatever it is, but I'm going to be... Um, Some people say, I'm going to be. So, you know, different responses people have to the world that they live in. That's all I got. Okay, I got some examples for you, okay? This is the Celestine Prophecy Book by James Redfield. And this is its companion book, The Experiential Guide. Why do we have an experiential guide? Because the Celestine Prophecy book is a teaching book. And I think what happened was, after they wrote that book, they said, uh, we want to make the things that we're teaching in this book real life for the reader. So that's why they came up with for your personal experience. We're going to talk about the novel, the first book, give you little bits of the, with the teachings of the novel, and then we're going to go into even more detail so that you can use what you've learned in your own life to make it real for you. So how are you going to make what I keep talking about real for you? Well, what am I trying to get you to do? If you follow my channel, I haven't talked about it too much recently. But over the long term, what I really encourage people to do is to Begin a regular daily meditation practice.
Okay, so it's about 10 o'clock at night time, and all of a sudden I start feeling tired. What does it mean to me? Well, maybe to you it means uh, maybe it's getting close to your bedtime and you need to go to bed. For me, it is uh, someone is, um, not me, someone else is feeling whatever it is, and they're um, in search of changing me. Why? Because that's what people on planet Earth do. They want to change other people because the other people are annoying them. So how do I feel it? Well, I feel it. I feel it. It's not coming from me. It's coming from other people. And what is the takeaway from it in your life? If you're starting to feel whatever you're feeling, you got to be able to figure out, is this me or is it someone else who's afflicting me with whatever that is that's bringing up feelings like I don't know where this is coming from, you know, whatever it is that I'm feeling, but uh, it, well, you might not know. You might just think it's always me. It's always me. It's always me. It's like I'm getting itched. You know, I just got an itchy. No, it's not. If your nose starts itching out of the blue, something is causing it, and it's not you. Who is doing it? It's somebody who's got superpowers, believe it or not. Someone who's got superpowers and ability to fuck with you. No one's got those powers. This is what um, people really think. People really think, you know, witches and voodoo don't uh, really... Uh, I'm going to have my book. Tin Hat. It's a tin hat. It's not real. It's not real. It can't happen. Well, I got to keep telling you, if you think these things aren't real, then you'll just think, I just got an itchy nose. I just got an itchy nose. Or I just got diarrhea today. I just feel sick to my stomach and people are going to blame, oh, that's food poisoning. You know, I had some dodgy chicken yesterday. What's really going on? Somebody who's got spiritual superpowers has got their focus on you and they're making you sick. Why? Depends perhaps on the spiritual person. What kind of spiritual person has got these superpowers that would hurt you? Uh, it could be a wide variety of reasons. Anything from they want you to learn that there are people who have got these abilities to people who've got these abilities and they're really nasty. Are there other kinds of people? I don't know. I'm just giving you two categories. I'm running out of time, so I'm going to move along to my next talk. I'm keeping these in 15-minute chunks so that people on Instagram can watch them. I'm limited to 15 minutes. And the next video is going to be, I don't know yet. Somebody says, I spend a lot of time talking about a lot of things, and then I leave you hanging. In other words, I bring up the topic, you know, a lot of commentators, that bring up topic, and then I'm having a meltdown. Because I'm not going to give you the answers. I'm giving you a lot of things to see what happens, so that experientially you can maybe get something out of it.